I don't want to be poor, but I want to win. The high price of deadly weapons is the final blow to the pools of your economy. And for those who want to combine two things, the first is ruthlessly beating enemies, and the second is not spending too much of hard-earned money. This video is recorded. In the process of completing Silent Caliber, I realized that MP155 is fairly inexpensive and quite deadly option. Its high ergonomics and low recoil allow you to easily and quickly take down any enemy up close, and sometimes even do something at a distance. To assemble this gun, do as I show. There's nothing complicated here, but when you get to the butt stock, just choose a recoil pad that reduces recoil more. In the case of the muzzle device, if you have the third mechanic, you can use the monster claw, but generally the GKO2 will be enough. The total cost of the gun is about 70,000, but you need the third Jaeger. Get Piranha ammo on the second. Shotguns are not for everyone, and I understand that. Also, not everyone had the third level traders, but there's an option that will suit almost everyone. It's the Kedr or the Clean. On the second paper, you can buy PBM ammo, which has characteristics that can generally penetrate any soft armor. And in the realities of the current patch, it equals victory over anyone. It is sold on the second paper. I hope you have already leveled up. Kedr or Clean is sold on the flea market for measly 15 or 18 thousand, sometimes even less. Clean has a fire weight of 1000 rounds per minute, and Kedr has 900. This is a lot, considering for example the same AK has 600. And if we compare it with all available PS ammo, it has 28 penetration and if you use PBM, you also see 28 penetration. So imagine that you are shooting with an AK only half as fast. Moreover, both Kedr and Clean have some modern options. You can install a sight and some laser or flashlight. Quite good, especially for such money. What about recoil? Yes, with such fire weight is quite acceptable, and the ergonomics is excellent. But if you have gained some status, or more precisely loyalty, in the eyes of traders, then I recommend MP7. It's very cheap on the flea market, and you don't need to assemble it. Just put aside and remove the rear sight. On the third mechanic, magazines for 30 rounds are sold, as well as GSP ammo. They have a weapon 32 penetration, not too much, but with the fire rate of this weapon is quite enough. Without considering the magazines, the gun will cost a maximum of 40,000. Shooting with it is comfortable, and even at medium rage, it hits everything. Ok, even at long range, the accuracy is normal. And if you dare to put a sight which you can get for free, it will be even better. I've talked many times about how to get a sight for free. The mechanic has barter trades, see and evaluate which one is more profitable now. Exchanged a pistol, removed the sight, sold the rest. If you get even more friendly with the mechanic, level up to the post loyalty level, then you can afford FMG G ammo, which has even better characteristics, and also magazines for 40 rounds. If the mechanic is not your bro, then pay attention to the peacekeeper. Already at the third loyalty level, he will willingly share a couple of his items, such as the OG A1. You can buy it on the flea market for very little money. Next, all you need is to simply replace the base in order to install rail and gain our free sight on it. So the total cost is only 50,000. Maybe less, especially if you sell the remaining parts. Ideally, of course, it would be to level up the false peacekeeper and run with the 856A1. But if you have not leveled up, then the most affordable option is to run with the M855. Penetration is 31, which is quite enough. But just above we see the MK318, which is slightly better. But unfortunately, it's not sold by traders, only available on the flea market for insane money, which clearly doesn't fit into our budget plan. But all day on the second workbench you can craft them. The recoil of the gun is acceptable. On the central target it hits well, and even at the distance the accuracy is good. Ok, I would like to emphasize that the O has a higher weight fire than comparing to the same 5.45 caliber rifles. Considering the very 
very low price, this is quite an option. But there's one important detail without which nothing will work. Subscribe to the channel, otherwise how else will you see hundreds of new guys? My favorite is the MP9. I really just fell in love with it. A pocket beast with a huge rate of fire and incredible ergonomics. The armor I use is a P6. It's sold by the third peacekeeper, but I also craft it on the workbench. It takes down enemies very quickly and the low recoil doesn't give the enemy a chance. The main downside is of course the small magazine capacity, which makes it very difficult to fight one against two or one against three, especially in open spaces without the possibility of hiding. I'll show you it again. This is how it shoots at the medium target in the cat. And like this at a distance, we see excellent accuracy. In this vibe the M18 became available on the third peacekeeper, so it became more accessible. Budget guns that could fit under it are the RVB and the Viper Hunter. They are both sold on the flea market. Initially, Viapri have slightly less recoil, but the maximum magazines is for 10 rounds. ROB capacious more rounds. What unites them is the fact that they almost don't need any mods. Just put aside and go crush. So the price is 30, maybe 40 thousand for a gun that will kill almost any class of armor. Because the penetration of the bullet is impressive. This is quite a normal option, especially since the recoil in this vibe is generally acceptable for them. I wouldn't say it's excellent, but overall it works. But if you level up the Peacekeeper for the fourth level, you can even buy M62, they are slightly better and the price is also normal. This is my list of weapons that I can recommend to you to participate in budget runs and not feel inadequate. You can compliment in the comments, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like. See you next time, good luck!